hundreds gathered to say goodbye to the late BBC presenter Harry Gratian earlier today, August 1. A Thanksgiving service was held at York Minister this morning, where tributes were paid by family and friends following the broadcaster's sudden death at the age of 71 on June 23. Famous faces from the world of sport and television arrived in Yorkshire this morning to pay their respects to the much-loved broadcaster, including journalists Christine Talbot and Krista Ackroyd and retired cricket stars Jeffrey Boycott and Dickie Bird. Harry's widow Helen spoke at the service this morning, as she said her final goodbye to her late husband, as did BBC Look North presenters Amy Garcia and Keely Donovan. The former Archbishop of York John Sentamu gave an address during the service, as many lined the streets to pay their respects to the late TV star. The late star's widow Helen pictured alongside the pallbearers carrying the coffin inside York Minister ahead of the service this morning. Former cricket umpire Dickie Bird and Lord John Santamu were seen catching up outside the venue ahead of the funeral, while former England cricket player Geoffrey Boycott was pictured arriving for the service in a suit and trilby hat. As predicted by police, hundreds lined the street to pay their final respects to the popular presenter ahead of the service. Harry was best known for hosting BBC Yorkshire's Look North News. He joined the show in 1982 with his final appearance in 2020. BBC Look North presenter Amy Garcia broke down in tears as she announced Harry's death live on air in June. Her voice broke as she said, as we close the program tonight, I have some very sad news to share with you all. Our much loved friend and colleague Harry Gratian very suddenly died today. We all at Look North are absolutely devastated to give you this news. Next week we'll give our time to pay tribute to Harry properly as that's what he deserves. Ahead of the Thanksgiving service this morning, police predicted many would gather to say their final goodbyes to the much-loved journalist. A North Yorkshire police spokesman said, we're expecting a large turnout of people to line the streets along the procession route. We would urge members of the public who are wishing to pay their respects to be aware of the narrow pavements on the route and to be mindful of not blocking any main roads. Last month, Harry's widow Helen Gratian thanks fans for their support in the wake of her husband's death and paid tribute to the late Look North presenter's legacy. In her statement shared to Twitter, Mrs. Gratian said, My family and I have been utterly humbled and overwhelmed by the kindness expressed by so many people. To us he was a much-loved husband and father and, although we know he had a public life, we have been awestruck and deeply moved by the esteem and affection in which he was held. The messages we have been sent have given us all great comfort at a time of enormous shock and grief. Gratian went on to request any donations to be made to the charity Myeloma UK, explain how her husband had been diagnosed with smoldering myeloma, a type of blood cancer that alters proteins in the blood and increases plasma cells in the bone marrow. She added that his condition had not been connected to his death. She wrote, We had known about this for some years now and it was diagnosed as smoldering myeloma, where symptoms are few and are manageable on the whole. Harry and I were keen to be able to support research into this cancer and help those who are living with it. Mrs. Gratian concluding her moving tribute writing, Harry packed a great deal into his life, an inspiring broadcast career and a family of six children and grandchildren too. We are grieving his loss. Thank you so sincerely for all the many acts of kindness over the last few weeks. I am truly grateful, and I know Harry would be too, 